Hey you guys, it's me, me, and I'm back with another video. So the, the reason I've been gone for so long is because I've been dealing with a lot of problems. And to tell you about some of the problems, I'm going to be giving you, you know, some videos and some stories about what's going on. Some are pretty funny, some are not so good. Some just makes you want to just, like, make you want to get angry and punch a wall or something. So this first story is, um... One of the things I've been having issues with, with the reason why I've been gone. Um, first issue, um, the story I'm going to tell you guys is about my car and how I almost legit saw the light. Like, my life just flashed before my eyes. So, I was at work and it was my lunch break. And on my lunch break, I usually go up the street from my job. And up the street, you know, we have like little fast food places, you know, where, where they have McDonald's, Burger King, Sonic, you know, like, like they have a whole variety of places for me to go to. So, it started like a few days before my um, work day. Like I started realizing something was wrong with my car and I thought it was like the engine itself. And I've been calling, going to people, going to mechanics, people like that to see what's going on with my vehicle. And I said, okay, this is new to my car. I thought it was the oil change, but I've got my oil change. Then I thought it was my tires. Maybe the tire pressure was too much or too low. It wasn't my tires neither. And next thing you know, my car was blinking every time I got ready to start the car. So then next thing you know, my wheels started locking up on me one day. Told my family, told my father and everybody so they can come and work on my car. And they said, okay, it's good. You just need another belt for your car. I said, okay, the belt. Okay, that's good. I just need another belt for the car. That's what we thought it was. Next thing you know, I was going on my break at work. And I had my um, phone on the Oscor. You know how you have your phone hooked up to the Oscor? Because I like to listen to my SoundCloud or my YouTube, you know, whatever. I don't like listening to the radio that much. I have certain music I like. But... I was listening to my music on the um in the aux cord on the speaker and they see you know I heard it the um radio go on and off on and off and I was like what, what what's going on I said that's not normal next thing you know as soon as I realized it my whole all the lights in my car just went on like legit everything telling me that tire pressure the brake lights the um seat belt light the lights for the um speeding let me know about the miles per hour everything just went on and i was like hold on that something's not right and my heart started pounding on my chest so something told me before it happened so i just put the turning signal on my car and i went straight to the right of the lane right towards the um lane where i know i can be able to pull over so next thing you know by the time i got ready to pull over or try to pull over my car wouldn't pull over. What happened was my whole wheel just completely locked on me, you guys. It just completely locked on me. I saw the light flash before my eyes because, for one, I've never been in a car wreck. I've never been in a car wreck with anybody. So, you know, it, it's very terrifying to me because, you know, a lot of people can die, you know, in these car accidents. You don't know what's going to happen. And I said, God forbid, I am not. I am not going to die right now. No, not today. So, as soon as my car wheel locked on me i was legit i had my breasts legit on the wheel and i was like you know what now nah, screw that you know i'm just gonna hang you you gonna turn you're gonna turn and next thing you know as soon as i tried my best my car actually did go a little bit for me because I, I had to force it no matter what and i had to put the emergency lights on to let people know like hey i'm stuck go around and i had to keep putting my arm out the window like hey go around me you know just to warn people and what made it worse around the time i was going on my lunch break there was a whole bunch of 18 wheelers outside like one in front of me one beside me i was like freaking out like oh my god i can't move i can't do this Thank God that there was a pharmacy next to me. So I pulled over and there was a section for me to drive and enter the parking lot. So I just parked my car legit anywhere. I didn't even care. I just went inside the parking lot and just said, here you go. I didn't care that my car was uneven or what. I just had to keep make sure that my car completely stopped. So that way I wouldn't do any more damage towards the vehicle itself and most of all get myself in any harm. So... As soon as my car locked up, I was crying because I'm like, oh my God, I'm stuck. And I got to call my job. So I called my um, job to let them know, like, oh my God, my car is stuck. I'm calling family and fam you know, friends right now to see if they can come and see me. And I had to call supervisor. I had to call monitor. I had to call everybody because, you know, I, I work in a hospital. I'm a healthcare worker. So the reason why is because I have patients to look after. And because of me being out there on my break and, you know, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want that to come back on me. I had to do what I had to do. Call, make sure, you know, hey, like I'm fine, but my car's le legit crash. I don't know what's going on. This is new. I don't know what's wrong, wrong with my car. Thank God 
my father came, he picked me up, and you know, he did what he could to make sure that my car was parked properly, and we called the store company, the pharmacy, where I parked my car to let them know, like, hey, don't tow my car. It's gonna be there for a few days until I can get my mechanic or somebody or to tow it to bring it to my house. And thank God, I called my father, my grandfather, and they had they knew a mechanic. He came and he worked on my vehicle. Turns out it was my alternator and the belt. So I needed a whole lot of work done to my baby. And I was so scared because I didn't have the money. I'm struggling right now because of COVID and there's so much going on. I, I don't have anything. So I've been, you know, praying, doing everything that I can do. You know, I can only do it so much. I'm thanking God that, you know, my mama was able to make sure I can go back and forth to work. But, you know, I feel bad as it is. My mom's like, don't you know, don't feel bad. You know, at least you're working. It ain't like you're fooling around. I know you're going to work. But I still feel bad because my vehicle is messed up. But I couldn't do nothing about it because I didn't know. I went to the mechanic and everything. Everything seemed fine. My alternator, everything just shut down on me. So they just said, it's all right, just buy a new alternator. And the alternator for my vehicle costs over $300. People say, you know, it's cheap or whatever, you know, it ain't that bad. But I said, right now, in my pockets, it is bad. I don't, you know, we, we broke as it is right now. And then with this COVID, you know, we struggling paying bills. And, you know, I'm going back and forth paying not only my car. I got to pay phone, help my mom, you know, with her bills sometimes as much as I can. But, you know, it, it's hard out there right now. So I was crying a lot. Like, dang, my, my car backing up. Like, what's going to happen next? Next thing you know, the mechanic showed up and my car started working a lot better. And I said, okay, I got I to gotta think positive for now. And I think that's what it is. I got to think positive. As long as I think positive and if I have my mom by my side, my father, and most of all, you know, family and my boyfriend, he's by my side. And without any of them in my life, I don't know where I'd be right now standing. Because every time I cry, I cry. Because I think you guys saw my boyfriend in the last video when we did reactions, Jermaine. And I don't want to go into details when it comes to our relationship. But what I can tell you guys is that it's going good so far. It's just me and him knew each other for so long to where it's like... If he wasn't here right now, I wonder, like, what's going to happen? If I didn't have any close friends here right now, like, most of my friends are gone. Either in a college or in another state they, they're, or city, they're gone. I barely have contact with them, so I'm, I'm alone out here. All I have is my family, but most of my family, you know, they ripping and running, doing what they got to do. But nobody that's my age or someone for me to hang out and talk to is connecting with me other than my boyfriend. So... I'm grateful for him in my life, most of all my mom. If it wasn't for my mama right now, you know, I don't know where I'd be right now when it comes to me working for one, getting back to forth to work, and helping out with bills. That's the one thing I'm thankful for, the fact how I have transportation to go to work and the fact how my mom stood by my side and also helped me to pay the mechanic to do my stuff to my car. And you know, that's the only thing, you know, that's one of the reasons why I've been gone for so long. It was mostly because I was stressed out, you know, with money. Shoot, who isn't? Money, family, trying to go back to forth, do what I got to do. You know, I just that's me. I just got to do what I got to do. So now you guys know that's one reason, you know, to run down while I've been gone. So if you guys like this video, I hope you guys look down in the descriptions down below. I'm going to also have, you know, my social media and if you guys don't see any of my social media even when you type the stuff in I also have my link tree to just to make it easier I'm gonna have my link tree in the comment not comments but in the description just click that and click whatever you want to go to TikTok um, my Instagram my YouTube channel anything like that if you're watching this video from TikTok social media stuff like Instagram and all that you know I'm gonna have my link tree in the bio or in the comments or in the descriptions for you guys to see and everything so I hope you guys give this video at least I'll say cuz I don't have that many subscribers right now I'm working my way up at least give me 10 to 20 likes on this video alright and I want you guys to stay tuned for the next video